Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021, Japan. Case Festa 4, day two from Nippon Butoka. I'm Russell Guru. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. This is a K1 welterweight uh, fight between Masaki Noi versus from Thailand, Purai Chumpon So Chisompon. So, Noidi, otherwise called the monster, he's, uh, <laughs> had, he's got so many championships, belts, I guess, under him. He's, he's fought them all, basically, so here we are. And he's uh, fighting this, uh, uh, in Thailand, they call him the, the great elephant, Prai Chumpon. <laughs> Interesting. <gasps> yeah. Well, Noidi is uh, the kind of fighter that just wants to be the best in the world. And that's only his pure goal. Yeah, he, he just wants to be strong by the, by the sounds of it. And he's pretty much run out of opponents in Japan, so they are trying happen. to find someone to fight him. And this time it's okay. a Thai fighter. Wow, so. that's a high, that's a high kick. Yeah. 175 centimeters, Noidi is about five centimeters higher than Kurai Chumpon. Ooh, mm, nice kick. And back <laughs> with a <laughs> back. Kurai Chumpon. Answers the back of the inside. Very precise. Noidi, three years younger than. Oh, there's a bit of Muay Thai wrestling going on there. Right, right. I like the way the fight's just opening up real slow, actually. Like, Noidi's just putting a little bit of pressure on him sure. here. You know, every time he touches in the Thai fighter, touches back. So it's kind of cool. We. Oui. Oh, nice one. Oh, yeah, he actually connected with that shot. <laughs> oh, up against the ropes there. Nice one. And what do you do when you run out of people to fight? Well, it's, it happens once in a while. You get these, uh, I wouldn't call them monsters, but that's what he's being called, the kaibutsu. Sure. Um, and they just become so good at the, at the weight class that they run out of people to fight, literally. And then when you offer the fight to someone, like yeah. a new one, right, they, they say no. They just know that he's too good. Okay, so they say, I'm not going to fight him because... Yeah, yeah, it happens. I've known a couple of fighters that had that problem, like someone like uh, Nathan Carnage, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he also ran out of fighters. And there were some other guys out there, too. What do, you, what do they do if they do? Do they change weight and try to... Yeah, they either go up or down in weight. Yeah. And that's why you have fighters that are, like, you know, uh, world, world champions. Like three, four, sometimes yeah. five different weight categories. So. Fighters in Japan are uh, since uh, 2019. Yeah, I mean, the Muay Thai gyms in Japan are often, uh, they hire uh, Thai trainers and fighters from Thailand to right. come over here and sponsor them. Hmm. <laughs> that was a good shot. Ooh. Ooh, that was some quick yeah. there. Nice. Yeah, okay, have a look at this round. The monster. So we'll have a little bit of look at here the fight records, okay? So yeah. Noidi's got 42 wins with 19 KOs and 10 defeats. And um, Pai Chompon has got 60 wins with 20 KOs and 35 defeats and 2 draws. Now, when you look at those kind of numbers, what's interesting is that you know that Noidi is not a big heavy hitter but he's mm -hmm. consistent in what he does. Right, right, right. So they actually got the same amount of KOs, but also, Pai Chumpong also, he only has 20 KOs out of 60 wins. So the fighting mm -hmm. style is very evenly matched out when you think about that. Interesting, yeah. And um, you can see the first round, there's not like a super exciting stuff going on, but it's just like a pure, like punch kick, punch Say kick hello. from both of them. Just with the number of uh, how much Thai, Muay Thai fighters fight back in Thailand, they, yeah. they probably have a shorter career than other, other fighters no. like Japan. <laughs> no, they got a long career. They start when they're like early teens. Yeah, they're kind of seasoned by the time, like yeah. 18 or something. I mean, he might have had a lot more fights than this. Yes. Is. We never know. Yeah. 
A lot of the fights they don't even consider fights, so they don't count. But they both definitely have enough power for in their kicks and the punches to knock each other out. It's just they're so experienced. Ooh, that was a good shot. You didn't like that. Yeah, seen that happen in the you know. Oh, what a beautiful oh, shot! Six. <laughs> oh man, you didn't like oh, that, that was one. great! Wow, that it's was like great! Lightning fast, and how did to go down? That's what he was waiting for. Oh man, what a clean shot! So short, so straight, right on the chin. Oh, that's taking a toll on the right chin. <laughs> I don't think he's got a lot of damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I take that back. He's definitely still got damage from this. Yes. Oh, man. Definitely feeling no Yeah. He's so calm in that moment. Man, he's dropping big bombs there. It's it's very really like they call him a monster, but it's, it's sort of sort of you know, um, matter of fact. It just doesn't. Yeah. No, he is just you know. No questions asked. Just do it. <laughs> he just keeps walking straight into it. That is nuts. <laughs> right into the corner, like like a waltz almost. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Nobody's pushing him around. Yeah. Yeah, okay, take that one up. Oh, he's waiting for that punch again. It's almost oh, nerve wracking to okay. see it. Throw <laughs> your guard up, right, Jim Paul, because that punch might come again. And he does it with like no motion whatsoever. Yeah. When he drops the hand, it just goes yeah. straight to the chin. I guess what they call him monster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to tie it up and get very last part of that. And he right on the chin okay. again. He took that. Yeah, and the Ooh. last couple of seconds. Wow. Uh, well, that's actually fairly inter in, uh, entertaining to watch. I'll say that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you might see some of that play back here. It goes. And he bang. Look at and that. He goes. Uh, picture perfect. What would you call it? Textbook perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and up goes. Oh, you can't like this. Pop. Pop. See, that's just yeah. a half a half hand. It's not even like pull back and he just like reaches out and corkscrews his hand like, into his chin. Like you're saying that one inch crunch by Bruce Lee. Oh yeah, it's oh just yeah. Just enough enough distance there. Totally works. When yeah. it's fast enough, you know it takes I think it's thirteen kilos of pressure to knock a person out. Thirteen kilos? Yeah, it's right. like clapping your hands. That's all it takes. That's thirteen kilos right like there? Yep. Okay. Well, I think there's a bit more than thirteen kilos in that punch by Noidi, the monster Masaki. That is a beautiful question. Coming up on round three. Again, Noidi probably didn't sit down. No, he sat down. Yeah. Okay. He can sit down. Okay, he's allowed to, yeah. Because <laughs> he's the monster. The monster. Ooh, that was a good shot. Oh, please. Nice low kick. Oh, dangerous exchange there, very dangerous. There's <laughs> a smile there for Patrick. I don't know what's going through his mind right now. Yes. Ah, because you gave him a cheeky punch, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, they're clinching a little bit too much for okay, right, one. Right. Ooh, good shot. 
just want to get tired, but you know, I can stay from Moody. Man, nice kick. Ooh, that was close. That was a nice high kick. Now it's just like, I don't think um, Clay Trompon wants to do a, a lot of exchanges of punches because he gets knocked out every sure. time he does. And the way to kind of avoid that is by clinching. Mm. Ah, right. So, so it's kind of you know, like... he's just changing his game plan. But Noeli is also letting him play into that. Wee, nice kick. Nice. Oui. Oh, yes, <laughs> See, that's dangerous. You do not, the Thai fighter does not want to feel comfortable if he's in the corner, but he just puts the pressure on him and keeps him in there so he can, like, do whatever he wants. Oi, oui, oui. Look at that. Okay, they had three seconds of this left in this good round. <laughs> uh, it's not very often you see a tie fighter like this in trouble yeah, in the corner. Yeah, yeah. That's how good he is. Mm. The kibbutz. Not, not looking really good for Bright Chimpon, but we have five seconds left in final round. Yeah. There you have it. Well, on the scorecard, he yes. wins. He doesn't look very happy with the decision. <laughs> so I'm thinking what he really wants to do is actually win by way of knockout. Right. Uh, sometimes the fans are a little bit disappointed because he's not winning by knockout. Right. Right. Yeah, that's what the fans want. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, as a fighter, an accomplished fight, this was you know, no injury for him. He was in complete control the whole time. And he dropped him with a, with a shot, so, you know, he's going to win it. And the second judge to as well. And we have a winner, Masaki, the monster, Noiri, for this one. Another win for Noiri, and so that day by day, probably becoming the untouchable as he already is. <laughs> Let's wait and see if there's other brave fighters who want to come up and um, fight and even win against them. Well, the question is, where does he find his pleasure in fighting like this? And if he needs to change, what is it that he can and wants to change? Sure, sure. You know, with an experienced uh, Muay Thai fighter like uh, Pao Chompong, then it's not going to be very easy to just go in and do something super spectacular anyway. Mm. You know. Yeah, and like, yeah, and he's, uh, no, he's just kind of that, like, I just want to fight, I just want to fight, but, you know, as you say, um, how, how's he going to, it's still uh, spectator sports, so how's he going to keep the man happy, and himself too, I guess, at the end of the day. Good question. I wonder, mm. is he going to go up or down in weight? Yeah. If he wants to keep fighting new opponents, mm. he has to probably change something somewhere. Still, technically, great fight. I mean, look at that shot. That's like, boom. <sighs> Perfect. Yeah, it is. It is classic K1, and it's, it's a nice knockout up there. And this one here, right here. That's, I think it's the, that was the biggest damage there in the fight for Clay Chimpong. Yeah. Well, that's the one that cost him the fight, that's for sure. Another trophy for the Mantelpiece. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. This was a K1 World Rumble 2021, K's Fiesta 4, Day 2. The winner was Masaaki the Monster Noiri. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis.